and welcome back to Let's Play Zeno Gears. In the last episode, Phase Gear shot out these bright, way, bright rays of ether and destroyed the entire village, killed a bunch of people left inside of it. Here we have the survivors. Obviously, Dan blames him. Oh. Still here. That's an interesting question. How did they know how to work that machine? And they're afraid of him. Here's the thing. Dan doesn't understand what happened in the village. He saw the explosion, but he doesn't know what happened. He doesn't know who caused it. He doesn't know why any of that happened. He is just looking for someone to blame. Someone to offload his anger and hatred on. being exiled. Has to travel through Black Moon Forest. Next destination. leaves a big machine behind. Now here we're finally on the world map. Now traveling on the world map, you can get into fights. But none happened here, surprisingly. I have to find my way through this forest. There's the entrance. That town on the other side is the next destination, but we have to travel through the forest to get there. We're actually going to be in here for a little while, though. This 
a lot of platforming and other little things in this area. Okay, since we gained those levels during the battles with the gear, now you'll notice we have four points to use for attacks now instead of only three. This opens up the possibility of death blows. What death blows are, are combination attacks where you enter in a certain sequence and your character will perform an attack which is much stronger than normal. The thing is you have to practice it. Play the sequence through a number of times before you can finally learn it. Which is why I am wailing on this monster with only one point of damage happening in each hit. If I were to use an ether attack like Guided and Shot, I'd kill it and hit. But I'm gonna grind on it for a little while because. Didn't get it. Here is where our death blows are. Now, we don't have any right now, and there isn't enough experience with any of them to even have them show up. But once we get death blows, phase power is going to increase dramatically. Right now, it's the beginning of the game and the enemies are still weak, so you can still defeat them like this. But... You really need death blows to beat this game. Here, but there's a lot of down there I want to pick up. Wrong way. So. Now, you can get into a fight with this thing if you touch it. Although most battles are still random. I skipped over that one. Just the hobgoblins that we fought on the path up to Saiten's house. I saved there, but I didn't bother showing it to you. Skip that battle. Now let's see where we are with the death blows. See, now we have some experience. We're 78% of the way there for the first one, and 71% on the way to the next one. The only one that we can learn at our current level, though, is the first one. So even if we get 100% experience, we still can't use it. Now with these hobgoblins, I'm going to continue to just practice the sequence. The triangle and the X attack. Death blows always end with an X attack. And these monsters are weak enough to be taken down just for practice. Not get the death blow. Well, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Zeno Gears. So uh, keep come back next time, and I'm sure I'll have the death blow then, or I'll get it.